Hello friends. In this video, let's understand how hierarchical clustering works. Let's take an example to understand this algorithm. I have given five data points as you can see in the figure P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5 in the 2D space. And I want to use hierarchical clustering to cluster these points. Before I start making the clusters, I should have the distance matrix of size 5 by 5, which will represent the distance between every point with each other point. That is how far these points are with respect to each other. So first step is to assign each data point as individual cluster. We have five points, so I will start by assigning each point as an individual cluster. So now I have five clusters in my 2D space. Then next step is to find the most similar, that is the closest pair of clusters. I know uh, based on the distance matrix that P3 and P5 are the two closest clusters. So I will merge them into a single cluster so that now I have total four clusters that is one less than five. Next step is to compute the distances between this new cluster and each of the old cluster. So I calculate the distance between the new and the old clusters. Rest all distances I already have and I will check the most closest pair of clusters. Let us say I have this P1 most closest to P3 and P5. So I will merge these three together as one cluster and I will keep on repeating these steps until all the items are clustered into a single cluster of size 5. Next level I will check that P2 and P4 are close together. So I will merge these two together and finally this is my complete one cluster of size 5. Please note step number 3 again here. Compute the distance or similarity between the new cluster and each of the old clusters. So how we are going to compute the distances? Let us say at one particular level I am at this position where in the hierarchical clustering I have these two clusters. So how to compute the distance? The answer is that we can compute these distances between the two clusters in different ways and accordingly they are named in different ways. The first way is single linkage clustering which is also called com connectedness or minimum method. Here we consider distance between one cluster and another cluster to be equal to the shortest distance from any member of one of the cluster to any member of another cluster. For example, the shortest distance let us say uh, it is between P1 and P4. So, we will consider this. The second way is complete linkage clustering. Here we consider the distance between one cluster and another cluster to be equal to the longest distance from any member of one cluster to any member of another cluster. And uh, here we can see that the longest distance is based on the distance matrix between P2 and P5. So it is called complete linkage or diameter type or maximum method. Next way to calculate the distance between the two clusters is average linkage clustering. Here we consider the distance between one cluster and uh, another cluster to be equal to the average of all pairwise distances. Like find the distance between each and every point of the two clusters and then take the average. This will give you average linkage clustering. Next in the centroid linkage, you find out the centroid of first cluster, centroid of second cluster and the distance between the centroids will give you the distance between the two clusters. Now if we compare single linkage and complete linkage clustering for the results, for such kind of data set, the single linkage clustering will produce long chain kind of structure 
whereas complete linkage clustering will produce a kind of spherical clusters and out of these four types of linkages explained single linkage complete linkage average linkage and centroid linkage the average linkage type of clustering will be less affected by outliers so that's all about the session today thanks for watching